this week from Hollywood, Joan Rivers. You talk about a terrific audience. Oh, my Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is good because my first guest, better known as Val on Knott's Landing, is just a poor little thing who has been walked over and cheated on and married more times than anyone else on the show. But in real life, she's a sex bomb. She's a wife. She's a mother of a 40-year-old daughter. Please welcome Joe Van Ark. Just a little I show. love it. It's how, the best. How old is your daughter now? She's six now. She, I two, know. Two, mom. two she, years off. Two years off. She's in reading readiness at uh, <clears throat> school. But, now, does it upset you? Because our daughters went to the same school. They did. Um, does it upset you that was, we're getting a little older? I never did before, but just in the last 10, 15 minutes, it's really <laughs> gotten to me. <laughs> it's really gotten to me a lot. What are you going to do as you get older? Are you going to stay I don't with know the show? Why. Oh, with, uh, is that good? Once you get older, you can't stay well, with not planning? No, but you know, you make lifetime decisions now. You say, well, I got to decide, do I stay with the show? Do I go out and be an actress now? Ooh, that's uh, kind of close to home, but actually. You know what I mean. No, I do know exactly what you mean. And I've been with Knott's for uh, 11, years. 11 years. And I did Dallas before that. I was Valine Ewing, who had married Gary when she was 15 years old, just a couple years ago. And um, <laughs> anyway... Um, having been with the show for 11 years, I, I'm starting to think about other possibilities. I am from the theater originally. I, I know. Did you did Shakespeare. Yes, I did. Yes. I did. And you I will did. forget, because she's so good looking. <laughs> no, usually, Bow Wows do Shakespeare. Bow Wows? <laughs> <laughs> Bow Wows do everything these yeah. days. <laughs> and some good ones, too. But I, I've been doing knots for about 11 years, and I've loved every glorious minute of it. And they say they're going to they're keep going forever, because the ratings you, after the 11th year are, are through the roof. But are so. you going to keep going with it? It's I don't know. I'm thinking this year, for the first time, I'm sort of having, not second thoughts, because it's uh, been first place in but, my heart, but I do want to go back to New York, maybe, and do some theater. Yeah. But, you know, it remains to be seen. Because, I mean, like, you're, you're running feud with Michelle Lee and everything. Which, oh, I hate her. Oh, I know. I <laughs> What? Talk about a bow wow. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Complete barker. Complete barker, yeah. No, Michelle and Donna. Well, you know, I miss, you, I miss her terribly, too, Donna. Yeah. Were you rivals? You had to be rivals. The three, there's three great-looking women on a show, and there's only so much time per hour for, for, for yeah. all of you to be on. Right. You had to, at one point, say, Donna's getting more than I'm doing, or I don't Michelle. Go, I don't know that that does any good to go and say any of that. If I like more than anything else in the world to be learning lines and be on a set. Right. When I'm home or running around uh, the lake uh, 700 times, then I'm very unhappy. But I think that our show, the reason it, it has succeeded for 11 years, is because they do rotate the weight of the show, the bulk of the show, and focus on whatever storyline is working at the moment. And, and Now, what happened that. last year to you? you? You were allowed to go crazy. Oh, last year was yeah. incredible because... Uh, Change your whole character? Well, it way. did basically, yeah, because it's a turnaround that's really going to pay <laughs> off this year. Uh, I had a threat on my life last year's cliffhanger, and there I was in a complete coma on the floor, having been uh, f had uh, sleeping pills forced down my throat at gunpoint. So at the top of just the like season, life. just like oh, home. Oh. Well, I left at home in Studio City. Same thing. But um, uh, th this you live girl, in the valley? No, on the cusp, on Mulholland. You live uh, yes, in the right valley. Away. Studio <laughs> City, no, the valley. It is Isn't a Studio City address. It's a Los Angeles phone you number. You don't live in Beverly Hills. Who, who does live in Beverly Hills? I you did. don't. I oh, did. You did. I did. You moved. You and got out of so there. You're so rich. You must be cheap as hell. Oh, I <laughs> I'm wearing our money too. <laughs> you are. Do, you in eleven years, you've you've made a lot of money. Not too much, no. That's well, why I'm leaving. I want to go make some money. No. But and your husband who is very successful as a, as a news reporter. News reporter here mm -hmm. in L.A. can't be making what you're making. It's impossible. Well, I don't know. I've never asked him what oh, he's God. actually doing. No, I don't. But you know what? As How do you divide as, the money? Well, we don't divide it. It's all in one big pile. And when I need a jacket, I take out of the pile. And when he needs a suit, he takes out of the pile. And it's one pile. And it's for all three of us. It's really true. It's true. Because that's the way to... Do you ever think that what happens if, God forbid, the marriage is split up? Well, then I'd find a young, gorgeous guy with a big pile. Uh <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, now look at They said, they said that you wear charms all over your body. Why? Not all over my body. I need to wear charms. As I get older, you're probably right. I do need to wear them all over my body. But I have two good luck charms that have always been with me. One is a Jeanne d'Arc medal, which is Joan of Arc, my namesake. Right. And the other is St. Genesius medal, which is the patron saint of actors. And uh, Christopher so Hewitt did it. where do you it. tuck them? They're tucked right on my heart, which is on my left one. Actually. And you tuck them into your bra? No, I don't tuck. Now I'm, because we have so many bedroom scenes on not landing with negligees and hardly any clothes, I have to tape them. So I use a piece of body tape and tape the little grabbers to my so, heart. Oh, in my case, I could easily tuck them in and just push down. You need one? <laughs> no, 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 You get ones for both sides. I'm, in fact, thinking when they have body mics, I ask for two. You know, I'm going to have this now, one on either side. You... When you leave Knox Landing, you just announced it on our show, and I think no, it's I wonderful didn't. that you No, I didn't. I'm great. saying I'm considering. I'm considering. How considering? How considering? I mean, like, never going back after today? Oh, <laughs> I have to go back tonight, as a matter of fact. I, so I'll, I'll finish up today. But do you still do other things? Do you still, like, go to beauty content, pageants and, and do those things? No, I am going to do the parade in a couple of, well... I'm going to do it, too! In New York? The, yes, oh, the, the Macy's parade. Macy's Day Parade. I'm doing it with Patrick Duffy, who is more fun than anybody in the world to do a parade with. What's your costume? Uh, costume? In the Macy's <laughs> parade? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Do you have any suggestions? Well, I think we should come as Deborah Norville and Jane Pail. Oh, Polly. Oh. Oh. oh, can we talk? Yeah, we thought. Smiling, smiling with a knife behind her back. Oh. That's a... And those huggy huggies on camera, camera. Yeah, yeah. kiss, 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 bust. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> tell about speaking huggy huggies and sweetie pusses. You've got to tell. I know we're late and they're going, they're running on. Um, you told me once she was the hostess of a Something. beauty pageant. Of uh, Miss Universe. Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. And go ahead. It's the best Well, there story. are a lot of stories, but there's two. Miss Bolivia, who had a nervous breakdown because she didn't make the um, finalists. She didn't make the 12 finalists. And in South America, the biggest thing you can be is miss somebody. And when she didn't make it into the 12 finalists, she completely collapsed backstage. And they had to rush her by ambulance back to her hotel. But the other story is of Miss Turkey in uh, the previous year had won Miss Universe. And it turns out that she did porno flicks. And so, <laughs> so they had to take the buses when they would take them from rehearsal to their dorm facilities. They had to go miles around the block because they couldn't go past the porno flick house that showed Miss Turkey stars in <laughs> Turkey Does Drumstick or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, those are some of the stories you never hear in the little commentary as they're passing I, the microphone back and forth. And how do you enjoy being Miss Turkey? I love it a lot, and you should see my drumstick. Things like that. <laughs> Will you come back again and visit I any time? It. I just, I love it's like it. having a girlfriend. She looks so great for a 60 year old daughter. I know. No, oh, it's a 16 or 60. Well, whatever you like. Whatever you like. Next, Harry Mandel talks about a different kind of late-night show.